Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour has announced what they're going to do about forward-facing sonars and transducers. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and let me say thank you. Thank you to all the new members, all the new subscribers, all the people who comment constantly. I really do appreciate it. I'm humbled, and it just is, it's awesome. So I really appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be, because it's free. So click that button and become part of the team and family. So Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour are going to limit forward-facing sonar and 360 to the anglers during certain periods. And I'm going to read this. Pros competing on the 2025 Bass Pro Tour must select one of three periods each day that they can use these tools. And how we're going to know that they are using forward-facing sonar or 360 will be indicated on the MLF live page and it'll be indicated on the score tracker as you go to check the scoring. There will be an indicator that tells you this is the time this angler is using it. Each angler will have to declare the use of the technology before the start of the period of their choice. This rule applies to all seven regular season Bass Pro Tour events and the 2025 Red, Cl Red Crest. There will be no restrictions to 360 or forward-facing sonar during the heavy hitters or the general tire uh, team series. And that's because the boats are generally the same for everybody. Also, the use of forward-facing sonar and 360 will be permitted during practice. In the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals, qualifying days will be evenly split with forward-facing and 360 that will be allowed on day one, but on day two it will be prohibited. Anglers who advance to the championship round will be allowed to use the technology on day three. Forward-facing and 360-degree transducers must be covered with a highly visible cap that will be provided by Major League Fishing. But again, no restrictions apply during practice. Now, what they're also going to do is they're also going to limit how many transducers and the, the amount of screen size. And here's what they're going to do. All boats competing in the MLF circuit will be limited to two forward-facing or 360-degree sonar transducers in any combination. There will also be new rules about screens, presumably aimed at increasing angler safety. No bow, no bow-mounted screen will extend vertically more than 18 inches off the surface of the front of the deck at its highest point when the boat is on plane and no screen mounted at the console may extend vertically more than 16 inches off the top of the steering column where it protrudes from the console. They're doing this so that they don't have any problems with visibility as the vessel is underway. Now the reason Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour can do this is because there's always a marshal on, on the boat and that marshal can make sure that the angler is doing exactly what he says. Now, it's going to be fun to see where the anglers go from here. Do they use it in the morning? Do they use it in the middle? Do they use it at the end? And they'll probably have to learn what they're doing during practice on when they want to use the technology. This is also going to give us a good statistic reason or show us when anglers are catching fish and how they're catching fish. If forward-facing sonar is being used and we catch a ton more fish and the viewership is higher or lower, then we'll probably see more changes in 2026. But this is going to give us some statistics on how things are going. We'll know when the good is good and when the bad is bad. We'll know when they use it, when they don't use it, and how many fish are caught, how big the fish are, and the amount. And while this isn't probably what everyone wants to hear because there are a lot of people that want to hear the ban, I think this is a very good opportunity to put some numbers behind bass fishing. And that's really important. But what do you think? Do you think they're crazy? Do you think this is a good this is a good in-between for the anglers? All this information is just coming out as crazy as possible. But you tell me what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers and thank you.